Also joining us is Congressman Brad Sherman, Democrat of Sherman Oaks, also a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. So, Congressman, thanks for taking the time. Very simply, uh, is the United States doing enough to help Ukraine? We're doing an awful lot. We're doing more every day. The thing we should be doing today is agreeing with Slovakia that if they transfer their S-300 uh, anti-aircraft missiles to Ukraine, that we will backfill. Uh, we have not been willing to uh, do the same thing with uh, with airplanes. Uh, that po uh, planes pose a, a particular risk, but there's no reason at all not to send these uh, anti-aircraft missiles uh, to uh, to Ukraine. And you've said you're opposed to this no-fly zone, but what what if chemical weapons are used against civilian populations? Would that not force us in militarily? There are a host of of hypotheticals that could come up. And obviously those would change things, but it doesn't mean that uh, the change should be that American uh, airmen should be shooting at Russians and Russian planes. Uh, keep in mind that a no-fly zone, for our pilots to be safe, it's not enough to just send planes over uh, Ukraine. We would have to destroy uh, Russian anti-aircraft missiles so that our pilots are safe. So we would be, have to be bombing Russians on the ground. Uh, and not just in Ukraine, because some of those defense, uh, those uh, it's, uh, Russian uh, div, uh, air defense systems are in Belarus. So we would have to bomb Belarusian territory, perhaps Russian territory, kill Russians uh, in order to keep our pilots safe. That may not be war with Russia, but it's pretty close. Uh, how does this end? This ends uh, maybe in a week maybe in a month, maybe in a year, when Putin realizes uh, that um, the most he can achieve is what Zelensky has already offered. And that is an agreement that Ukraine would not enter into a formal military alliance with NATO or any other uh, anti-Russian alliance. And keep in mind, Ukraine can never be eligible for membership in NATO so long as Crimea and Donbass are occupied by Russia. Because the, the Article 5 says, if you are a member of NATO and your territory is occupied, then, we're in a, then all NATO countries, including the United States, are in a state of war against your occupier. And that, uh, uh, I, I don't even, with all of the support Ukraine has, I can't imagine uh, support in the United States for a, uh, a Ukraine membership in NATO if that meant immediate war with Russia. Uh, Congressman Brad Sherman, Democrat from the House Foreign Affairs Committee, thanks for taking the time. Thank you.